Hi everyone, see you again. Welcome again to Imran Amemi channel. Still with me, Imran here. I always try to do my best to all of you, my subscribers and followers, in the midst of my busy and routine works. And this time, I would like to share on how to create a sub schedule with a special different from the previous one because I have perfected it with a jam chart which check we can change automatically if anything on the work duration on start and finish so will the big picture and ultimately this will also affect on the shapes of the s curve itself which will also change automatically okay now how to create work schedule and s curve with special junction which can change automatically if any change in duration of the works for the start and finish so will the big picture and ultimately this will also affect on the shape of the s curve which will also change automatically first thing that you have to do is okay put your cursor here and then we will <coughs> Take the wake vector, the second wake vector I mean here, yes. Spread all over in the space by space here, okay. And then we will use if function here, okay. And then we use combination function by, by using M. And then using parentheses here. And then take the cell here, start section, okay. And using using the mark more, uh, sorry, using the mark less than and equal. And then from this cell here, okay, and then take this cell, yes, finish section using using mark more than and equal to this section, okay, and then using this here, okay, and take this second wave vector here and using condition zero, yes, and using parenthesis and then answer. Okay. Why uh, uh, there is no evidence here? Because the work starting from tomorrow, 2019, while the section is only for for the date 22nd of February 2019. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> the wake vector should be start in the section tomorrow. 2019 okay then <coughs> we put <coughs> to make itself remain unchanged we should put dollar yeah we should put dollar yes we should put dollar uh, in the front of the cells here okay uh, here okay and then this is put the dollar behind the cell okay yes and this one okay then enter okay and <coughs> then we should make a copy yeah copy all over the cells okay over this area until mark 30 yes okay okay you see the wake vector starting from tomorrow 2019 and then make copy and eh? make copy yeah make copy to down of all cells here yes yes and enter okay yes and we already spread wake vector second wave vector all over in the space by base in all section here okay now i will use the other phone and more leader phone size yes but this is depend on your wish to use phone and phone part here okay we block this area this whole area here okay Get down here, then choose the phone 
I will use book one all style here. Okay, by using six size. Okay, okay, and then I will create a jump chart. Yes, create jump chart here. I copy this formulation here, and then I block this area, this whole area. Yes. Yes, it's down here. Okay. Then choose conditional formatting and choose new rule and then choose the section. Use a formula to determine which cells to format and then pass the formulation that I copy in the oil in the earlier and and then choose format here and choose the fill uh, choose the color to fill the jump chart, yes, I use this the this light blue colors here, and I click OK, and then click OK. Okay, you see, we find already jump chart with the light blue color. Okay, then we prepare to create escape. Okay, now we will create its escape. On how to create the escapes, I explained already in my previous video. You could check video link that I provided in this video description, okay? But I will re-explain it to you in this case, okay? In the progress plan section, you should prepare some formulation here, starting from this cell until this cell. And for the other one, then press enter, sorry. For the other one, you just copy the cell to all over space by space in the progress plan okay and for accumulative progress plan yes uh, you start you start uh, sorry you just prepare formulation by copy the cell okay for the second cell you multiplication the cell yes and with the cell yes okay then press enter okay and for the others you just copy the cell the second cell to all over space by face in this accumulative progress plan section and for progress actual this shall be able to your uh, progress actual achieve on site and for accumulative actual progress you should prepare this formulation for the first cell you copy the cells this progress actual cell and then for the second one you should multiplication this this cell with this cell then press enter okay for the other one you just copy the second cell to all put to all over space by face okay and for the variant you should prepare formulation uh the subtraction formulation yes <coughs> yes this is sub subtraction between Accumulative actual progress with accumulative progress plan. Then press enter. Okay, and for the other one, you should you just copy uh, the cell to all over space by face in the variant section. Okay, then we prepare its S curve. Okay, we will create its S curve. Okay, first we should blocks the accumulative progress plan sections yes starting from the cell till this end cell yes okay sorry then choose insert then choose line chart type here okay then choose the first one okay then click here okay right clicking and choose format axis and change the maximum bound of this curve by 100 and yeah, okay then we try to move this section to the right okay so right clicking again and choose format axis and then click levels and choose height yes and this section already moved to the right okay and then we will use no decimal yes click number here and we 
change to by zero okay by zero okay then we delete unnecessary item this one okay and this one also okay okay then we will mix this line chart appear transparently yes okay by choose this one yes in the fill section choose no bill in the border section choose no line okay for the second one in the bill section choose no bill in the border section choose no line here okay and put the line put the line inside this 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 uh this line this line chart yes click no line here okay and this line chart the, the this line chart or this s curve already appear transparently okay then <coughs> sorry then we set this s curve in the space by face in the space by space in this area okay okay sorry okay okay And the final appearance of this S curve shall be like this. Okay, shall be like this. The blue line here is the accumulative progress plans, and the red the red line here is uh, accumulative actual progress. <coughs> the purple the purple line here is the actual progress, and the yellow one is the Parents, okay. Then we will check the John chart, the weak factors, and the shape of line curve or S curve will change automatically or not when we change in the duration of this work on start and finish. Okay, let's see. But before I do this, please check the before condition here. Okay. One, okay. This one, yeah. Okay. Please remember this one. Please remember this on this before foundation. Okay. Okay. Let's say for this one. Yes, for this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. For the land clearing works. Okay. Uh, this works shall be start not on 2 of March 2019 but shall be start on the 10 March 2019 here. Okay. This is the cell here. Yes, the cells refer to refer to 2 of March here. Okay. And then I press enter here. Okay, okay, this bar chart change already and refer to the shaft that notify to 10 of March as per <coughs> change in the start of this work. Okay, and let's say this is shall be finished on March 30. Yes, okay, see this condition here. Okay, this is finish on March 20 before I make change on this finish section okay let's say this work shall be finished on March 30 sorry let's check and any change also in this duration yes okay and this bar chart change already and refer to uh, March 30, 2019. Okay. Okay. Let's check the other set. The other, the other section. Yes. Uh, for the transportation material from story to site. Okay. Let's say uh, this work shall be start on uh, on February 30, 2000. And uh, sorry, March. Uh, sorry, 
15 March, yeah, 15 March 2019. Okay, here. Okay, please see the cell. This is the people condition. Okay, and I press center here. Okay, and the watcher uh, move already and level to the March 15, 2019, and shall be finished to March 31. Yes, 31 here. March 31 here. Okay, please see this cell here. This is the before condition. Yes, and I press enter here. Okay. Okay, press enter here. Oh, sorry. Yes, uh, March 31. March 30. Yes. Okay. okay, the bar chart change already. Yes, yeah, change already. And this is <coughs> followed by something, yes, yeah, something in the wave factor inside the bar chart. Okay, and this is any change on the S curve also. Okay, okay, okay. This is my explanations on how to create the work schedule S curve with John chart, uh, wake vector, and S curve that will change automatically. Yeah, when any change on work durations on start and finish. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. I was wondering if you would be able to subscribe, comment and like, also share this video to others so they can take advantage of it also. Again, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.